Man, what's good with everybody? It's your boy Monk Mode, and I'm back with another video. And let's get right into it. So, I want to talk about how we're living in a spiritually dead society, all right? Now, this might be known, obviously, by many of you, but we're simply living in a spiritually dead society, bro. Like, you walk outside, guarantee you the first person you see, nine times out of ten, they will be spiritually dead. How do you tell? Even without discernment, you can tell. You could just look in someone's eyes and their eyes won't have life in them. I don't know how to explain it. Like, everywhere I've been going, it's been looking like the walking dead out here. Everybody's just on zombie mode. And this is people, I think, releasing all their life force energy, honestly. And not living a godly life. Because how can you have life without your life force energy? How can you look spiritually alive when you're giving away all your spiritual strength? I mean, it's crazy. These guys are out here giving their strength to the websites giving their strength to the Jezebel and just not living right, just not eating right. Their prayer life probably isn't right. They're not living with God. They're not walking righteously. So yeah, we're living in a spiritually dead society. Like everywhere I go, I notice everybody's zombied out. They're on zombie mode. Come on, man. Like I'm at the gym and especially there, I see a lot of guys there. They just look drained. They just look like they have no life left within them. While still being alive in this physical body, their spirit looks dead. Like, to me, with my spiritual eyes, a lot of these guys and female spirits look dead. But, like, I see a lot of guys, too, walking around with their head down, just looking at the ground, you know. They can't make eye contact. They're just zombies out here. It's crazy. It just makes you think, where has this society gone? Where is it heading? It's heading to a very dark place, the way it's going right now. And that's why I can't wait for Jesus to come back, because this is heading to some really dark times i think with the way the corn industry is taken over and you know guys are more and more simping over these females and more and more giving their strength over the websites and all this stuff it's heading to a scary place where everybody's just easily controlled now since everybody's spiritually dead like 99 percent of people are spiritually dead it makes everybody easier to control right because in this society i know that the higher ups, the people who are running this program, this matrix, if you want to call it, they want people to consume and consume, consume, consume their products, right? They want people to consume their products. They want people to become addicted to what they're selling, like fast food, junk food, you know, the corn industry, materialism, all this stuff. They want people addicted to this stuff. And everybody being spiritually dead makes it easier for whoever's running this program, which is Satan, to control this. And it's crazy. I've just been noticing this. Everywhere I go in public, every time I'm out and about, I just notice there's something off. Like, there's something very low vibrational about everybody. Everybody is just looking spiritually dead. And this is what happens. You'll probably notice this as well if you have the Holy Spirit. If you're holding on to your seed, you're doing certain things, right? You're probably going to notice a lot of people around you are spiritually dead. It might be at work, might be wherever you are every day. People just have nothing left in them of substance. People's spirits are simply just gone. They're dead. And like I said, it's not their physical body that's dead. They're still here in their physical body, but you can tell that they're looking like zombies, man. It's crazy. They need to change something up. Like either their diet, either what they're doing with their seed, you know, the females they might be sleeping with. You might see it as well, too. You might see a couple and the female might be glowing. She might be, you know, looking just averagely healthy. But the guy might be looking super drained. That is a perfect example of a guy giving all his strength to a Jezebel. Yes, because our seed is powerful, guys. The minerals, the vitamins, everything in our seed that we contain in it. If we just give that away to a female, that female is going to gain that strength and we're going to lose it. That's a perfect example. Like, have you ever seen a couple with the guy just looking super drained and, you know, the female is just looking all right. She's looking like healthy. That's what I mean, guys. That's what the seed does is crazy and i think people underestimate the spiritual realm i think people just look at this world too much as a physical world like i always say it's a spiritual world it's not physical and everything happens in the spiritual before the physical so when you're giving all your strength away when you're watching the website stuff like that what you're doing in the spiritual realm is going to take hold in the physical yes what you're doing in the spiritual realm giving your strength away all that stuff it's going to have you looking weak. It's going to have you looking like you gave your strength away afterwards. Yes. That's why when you're a depleted fat, that's why you don't look so good. I never used to look so good when I was addicted to that stuff. 
when I was having all types of addictions in my life, strongholds, I didn't look too good. I looked like a zombie as well. And the only way to escape this stuff is, yeah, to find Christ. But me, I found Christ through using tools to get there, right? Because I didn't have that knowledge yet to accept Christ. I didn't have that knowledge that that's what I needed to do. So it started out small, right? I started by cutting out bad addictions. You know, God was leading me all the way still. Cutting out bad addictions, you know, found SR, started getting on SR. And through SR, through this last streak that I had, like, I'd say six, seven months ago was when I truly accepted Christ. And then through this streak, I've gotten closer to Christ. So I've been the most spiritually alive that I've ever been in my life, if that makes sense. So it's just crazy. With these spiritual eyes, I'm noticing that we really are living in a spiritually dead society. We really are living in a society that looks like it has no hope. The only hope is Christ. And Christ, when he comes back, that's the only hope we're looking at. Because the world going off of their own understanding, their own strength, is not looking so great so far. People that claim they have all this knowledge and they say, oh, uh, yeah, fapping is good for you. You know, fap two, three times a day. I don't know, bro. A lot of people aren't looking so good. <laughs> a lot of people aren't looking so good releasing their strength every day. Because that's what it is, man. You're releasing your strength. Like, I can't stress this enough. You better watch what you do with that seed. You better be careful, my guy. You better not just give that to anybody. You better not just release it carelessly, senselessly. You'll be out here looking like the walking dead as well, man. Come on. And I'm not trying to brag or, like, you know, say, oh, I'm better than everybody. But I do feel more spiritually alive than, like, what I see out there, what I see every day. I do feel like there is a difference. I feel like I look at myself and I'm like, wow, I'm actually looking much more alive than I used to. But when I go to the gym and stuff like that, and I see a lot of guys walking with their heads down, the big bags under their eyes, and they look like they haven't slept, they haven't ate good food in years. It's like I can tell something's wrong, like, you know? And I'm not trying to say I'm better than people. Like Everybody can find Christ. Anybody can find Christ. Christ is there for everybody. It's just people don't want to believe. They just want to turn their ear away. They don't want to believe in such tools and practices as semen retention. It's like they're programmed, they're brainwashed. We're living in a brainwashed society full of zombies, I'm telling you guys. And like I said, why is it that way? It's because the people running this matrix, which are handled by Satan, Satan is their handler. People running this matrix, they need us weak, they need us weakened. They need us not doing stuff like semen retention. This is why when you're on semen retention, stuff like that, this is one of the reasons Satan will not like you. Satan will try to, you know attack you and try to get you back into the world try to get you back into a weakened state so you can comply and you know comply with these agendas easier because there's a lot of agendas there's a lot of stuff going on where they need men weak yes they need men feminine and females masculine look as you can see this world's heading to a dark direction and the only hope is christ i'm telling you guys when christ comes back that is the only hope we have like come on man so yeah, guys, don't get discouraged when you go out and you see these people are spiritually dead and you might feel alone, stuff like that. Just know there's more people like you out there. The more you stay on this path, the more you seek God's kingdom and the more that God will bring people that are of God in your life. Yes, I'm experiencing this. Come on, man. Trust me. Like I cut off all my friends, but the only friend that I still talk to here and there, he is of Christ. Yes, a follower of Christ. So it's like God made it that way. God put it in my heart to cut off all the other friends, but him, I just know he's of Christ, so I'm not cutting him off. I don't hang out with him all a lot, but I still talk to him, and, you know, he's a busy guy just like me. I'm busy, so, you know, we know what it is. But I'm telling you, the more that you stay on this path, the more God will send godly people into your life. So don't worry about all these spiritually dead zombies. Try to help them out if you can, but don't waste too much energy because I'm telling you guys, a lot of people... They will turn their ear right away from the law. They will turn their ear right away from God. They don't want to hear it. A lot of people are just downright satanic as well. A lot of people, they do some crazy stuff behind closed doors. That's why you might sense something even weirder when you're out in public around certain people. You might sense that their aura is even different. Like it's even worse than spiritually dead. They might be just like on the dark side. I'm telling you guys, like straight up. They might be on Satan's side. Oh yeah, willingly. I know some people that I've went to school with that they're doing some dark stuff nowadays and, you know, I might not speak on that too much, but I know it. I know they're doing dark stuff and it's because of stuff that I've seen them do. It's like people really expose themselves. But yeah, guys, this was just a little video talking about our spiritually dead society and how it's just crazy. We're living in the walking dead almost.
yes, we're living in the walking dead, but we can save these people, you know, we can help these people find Christ and they can be saved. Yes, I was once one of those zombies, but I got saved. Come on, man. So at the same time, don't waste your energy trying to save everybody. But if you see that someone's receptive and wanting to learn, definitely teach them about the word. Definitely sow that seed into their mind. You might get them to open a Bible up. You might get them to start, you know, praying. You might get them to accept Christ. You never know what kind of seed you can plant. So just know it seems hopeless. The society seems hopeless. The only hope is Christ, but we are warriors of Christ. So don't forget that we can still sow a seed. Don't forget that. But protect your energy as well, guys. Man, I hope everybody has a blessed and amazing day. It's your boy, and I'm out.